Jubilicious. Psst. Wake up. Hey, what's going on? Here I am under the stairs in the basement again uh, to not wake up anybody. It's beautiful, eh? Um, yeah, I watched a movie called Old Boy, directed by Spike Lee, starring Josh Brolin. Yeah. First of all, congratulations, Joshy, for making it into a Spike Lee film. You know, color of your skin didn't stop you. Good job. No, seriously, though. Old boy. He... I'm just going to even call him. I'm going to call them by their name. Was it Joe Doucette was his name? I'm just going to call him Josh. Josh is locked in a room for 20 years. That's a long time. That's a lot of beardage. That's a lot of facial hair. But anyways, he's there and he's like, you know, like, uh, why? And, uh, yeah, he doesn't even have a real window. It's just like, it's like a picture that changes and some bad boy guy. So anyways, he goes, you know, nuts trying to figure this shit out. And one day he turns on the TV and there's a story. Oh, was it his wife or his ex-wife? Anyways, she was, uh, sexually assaulted, murdered, etc. And, uh, yeah, Joshy, Joshy Poo is the main suspect. <laughs> Anyways, turns out the guy watching him in the room, the, uh, security guard, if you will, is Samuel L. Jackson. Mm. He's just sitting there watching him, and, you know, he's, like, going crazy. He even Wilson's the pillow. Yeah, Josh Wilson's his own pillow. What's Wilson? Come on, don't you remember in the castaway... When uh, he kind of got some blood and drew a face on the volleyball. Wilson! Well, oh, he does that to the pillow. Don't worry, he doesn't poop the pillow. So anyways, and they, once in a while they knock him out with gas. Like one time, he's watching an exercise show. And he's trying to rub it out. I'm like, uh-uh-uh. Mm-mm. I'll give you permission to touch your sits. And he gets knocked out before he reaches his, you know, weird. See, when you're locked up for 20 years, it's against the law to beat off. <laughs> Why am I? Anyways, so one day, they just decide to let him go. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. Thanks, guys. See you. Oh, and every day he has to eat these Chinese dumplings. Every day. And he quits drinking. He was a drinker. He was not a nice guy when he was drinking. He just assumes that... Uh, Every woman is a vote open and and he can just use them and bye. Yeah, he's kind of a dick. And he's not there for his kid. He has a daughter. So anyways, he finds out his daughter's alive on some crime show. Boobly boo. And he goes searching and trying to figure out who the foop logged him up. And why? Why did they do such a thing? Obviously, he's got to clear his name. And, you know, he's walking around and he finds this chick. Who works at a mobile, what do you call those things? Mobile medical unit, like like a hospital on wheels. And guess who the nurse is? It's one of the little girls from Full House. Whatever happened to predict? Yeah, crazy. They bond filmed form a bond friendship, and she believes him because when he's sleeping, she's like, <laughs> she's reading all the notes that he wrote to his daughter. He's like, you read my letters. You nosy, courageous woman, you. <laughs> Congratulations. So anyways, they end up making love, and she falls in love with him. But uh, then things get ugly, and they get a hold of her, and they start raping her and showing him. It's kind of, yeah, it's not nice. Not a fan of rape scenes. Sorry. Um, well, sorry, who is? Anyways, he goes and rescues her, but... Samuel L. Jackson, the guy who was watching him all these years, that's gotta be a boring ass show. Do something, motherfucker. All you do is sit there and eat your dumplings. And try to jerk out to, to, to exercise shows and touch yourself. And do something. Claw up the wall. Try to escape. Damn. Oh, he does. Don't worry. So, anyways. Oh, and he tattoos the ears on his arm. Ugh. <coughs> Gross. So anyways, when he gets a hold of Samuel Jackson, you guys, <laughs> ah, he ties him down and he has this cute little magic marker and say, 
What are you doing? And there's giant lines for the bits of skin that he's going to cut across his throat. <laughs> then he starts putting uh, salt and stuff. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. And he's like, what's this? Oh, I'm going to see if I can tear your head off with my bare hands. Which I really wanted to see, but it didn't happen. Why? Because he's like, ooh, I got some cassette tapes you want to watch. I got season one of Friends. No. <laughs> he's like, the evidence. So I was like, alright then. Anyways, just one scene when he has a hammer. He's really good with the hammer. And he takes on like multitudes of guys. Like it's so unrealistic, but it's kind of cool and fun to watch. You know, now everything's got to be an award-winning screenplay, guys. So he kicks a lot of guys' asses. Anyways, so why did they lock this guy up in the first place? I'll tell you. I'm glad you asked. Turns out there was a guy in the school that he went to, and his sister, it was all about his sister, his sister was getting, was getting filled up, the, her gas station filled up by her dad, ew, and he blabbed his mouth so everyone called her a whore, and yeah, because the dad was diddling the kids, and then one day something happened, and then the dad shot the brother and killed the sister and killed the mom, turns out the brother lived, and the brother just wants revenge. To uh, you know, avenge his sis. I'm gonna get you back, say. He called you a whore, and there's flashbacks of everything happening and everything, and the dad killing the family and his brain splatter. And it's like, oh dear God. So, anyways, he finds it out. But the kicker, at, the kicker at the end is, he finally finds the daughter. Oh, she plays a marvelous violin. The daughter do. And she leaves and I say, like, that's not even the daughter. It's just some actress. Yes, she's been under my employ for the last 20 years. Good actress, isn't she? Wipe the fake bruise me off. Wipe the fake bruise. Huh? I was like, oh, don't worry. You really do have a daughter. Oh, thank God. Yeah. You know that girl you were plowing? That be her. Mm. Oh, why? Oh. Oh. Mm. So anyways, he's like, Foot this, I'm going back to the room. <laughs> he just goes back to the room and like, Yep, dumplings please. And scene. <laughs> it's really good. It's good, yeah. But I just wanted to see if anyone else has watched it. What were your thoughts? Obviously, there's shitloads of spoilers. And I pretty much gave away the whole movie. But I'm going to put it in the description. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, don't watch this video. Yeah, common sense, right? Why would you? Spoiler Nation, ooh. I should just give away every movie instead of a channel called Spoiler Nation. Kabow. Yeah, oil pot is cool. I'm actually watching the Korean original right now. Just to compare. Hmm? And upload. <laughs>